Hannah Children Ministry presents The Adventures of the Donut Man, Rob Evans and Children All Over UK featuring mums, dads, grandmothers, granddads and hundreds of kids just like you. So sit back, here comes. Ah, real stars have their own dressing room. Always remember to have courage in the toughest of situations. girls and boys it's been really great having you and i pray that you've learned something about courage like i have you remember our bible verse it says that we should be strong and courageous do not be afraid or discouraged for the lord your god is with you wherever you go so let's talk to god maybe there's something that's causing you to be discouraged Maybe you need to be strong in some area. Or maybe you want to pray about a friend or somebody you know. Talk to God. So wherever your position, are you sitting, kneeling, standing? Let's pray. And I'm going to be quiet while you pray. And I want each and every one of you to talk to God. So close your eyes so you don't get distracted. And let's talk to God. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Thank you so much for being with us. And be courageous, be strong, know that God is with you. Stay safe. Bye. boys and girls how are you I know some of you are feeling happy some have had a good day some feeling poorly and some have not had such a great day but not to worry I'm so glad to have you here with me and I'm equally excited because I have my friends with me 
Shall we meet them? Come. Hi, Steve. Hello. And I've got my friend Stilton with me. Hello. And how are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fed up. Oh, Stilton's fed up. Why are you fed up? I don't like having to stay in. I want to see my friends. You're well, yes. We have to stay in to stay well at the moment, and hopefully it won't be like this for much longer. I hope not. Okay. He's been very good, and he's, we're both well, so we're okay at the moment. You are special by Max Lucado, author, and Sergio Martini, illustrator. In a town far away lived small wooden people called Wemmicks. All of the wooden people were carved by a woodworker named Eli, whose workshop sat on a hill overlooking the village. The same hands that made the stars made you. The same hands that made the mountains made you. The same hands that made the trees and the moon and the sun made you. That's why you are so special. George Angelini, illustrator. The acorn looked at the world around him. Green hills rolled their backs in the distance. Bright daisies bloomed below him. Above him, a family of puffy white clouds floated through the blue sky. The world looks so big, the little acorn said to his mother. Of course he does. Now it's time for me to let go and go out and become the person God made me to be. It's time for me to go out and find out what it is I am meant to be. I learnt about being the tree God made me to be. Yes, that's, that's right. But I'm not a tree. <laughs> not a tree, no. <laughs> and... Uh, with an oak tree, what did you learn about growing an oak tree from an acorn seed? It takes a very long time. It does take a very long time for an oak tree. But you know, seeds are brilliant. Oh, I know. Yes, seeds are wonderful. <laughs> Are you ready for our Bible verse? Let's open the box and look inside. What Bible verse do we have today? Psalm 119 verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Let's open the box. And look inside. What memory verse do we have today? Psalm 107 verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Let's open the box and look inside. What memory verse do we have today? Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We don't have to do things alone because we have a bold and strong God with us wherever, wherever we go and whatever we do. What do you think, Steve? It's another great verse, isn't it?
be bold, be strong, for remember the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Are you strong? Sort of. <laughs> yes. Okay. Are you bold? No, you are not bald, bold. What's that? <laughs> he loves us. What do you think, Sydney and Steve? Oh, Sydney, come on, up you come. Hello. Yes, this is, this is Sydney. Uh, he's not Sydney the sheep. No, I'm not. So do you have another name? I do. So what's your other name? Sausage. Hello, boys and girls. And how are you? Are you ready for our Bible verse? Good. Let's open the box and look inside. What memory verse do we have today? Psalm 23 verse 6. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Mm. Can you imagine that? I love this text. Do you like it? I think it's great. You think it's great? Yeah. Were you listening to it? Oh, yeah, you obviously were listening. That's good. It says, surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, I know somebody who said about this, that being followed by goodness and love, yep, is like being followed by, by two sheepdogs. One called goodness, yep, and one called love. Nurturing the Leader Within Children is a two-day online session for parents, volunteers and professionals. To help awaken children and teenagers' natural leadership potential and spiritual gifts. Thus, enabling children and teenagers become a supernatural generation that is able to navigate through the aftermath of a coronavirus pandemic and face a post-Covid era. Standing Strong as a Leader. Date. Friday, 6th of November. Saturday, 7th of November. Speaking at the event is Modupa Philippi. Helping your child have a heart that prays. Ali Goldenberg. Raising a Josiah generation. K. Morgan Gar. Children with additional needs are leaders too. Anna Hawkins. Parenting children for faith. Host. Karen Ahoma. Parenting children for leadership. everyone and welcome to parents and teacher working together I'm really glad to have you here with me today um, I have we, today we're going to be talking about autism and um, we have a very special lady her name is Kay Gorgon who has um, twins with autism and she explains the compassion of her daughter towards her brother who has other disabilities at the same time Hello and welcome to Parent and Teacher Working Together. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. And today I have a very special couple for me and Aziz Jimon. Welcome, welcome to Parents and Teachers. I'm really excited to have you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. yeah you were three years. Because that time when you said there was something wrong with him and he wasn't settling in the nursery, you took him out of the nursery and decided to kind of uh, yes. teach him at home, you know educate him at home and after you... he was very intelligent yeah. yeah hello and welcome to parents and teacher working together so glad to have you here with me today 
Um, today I'm going to share with you the nuggets I took away from reading a book called African Parents um, Must Know. It's a safeguarding book called Child Protection and Welfare Issues in the United Kingdom. It's by Kemi Williams and um, after reading the book I went, hmm, I know the book does say African parents must know this but I think it's something that um, all parents, all volunteers that work closely with children um, can learn um, a bit of what she shares in, in the book. Um, so my um, idea, my thoughts was, let's see how best, how can we pre prepare parents? How can we help them see and understand these challenges and maybe walk towards dealing with some of them? Before Hi everyone, welcome to Parents and Teacher Working Together. My name is Karen, I'm the CEO of Mantano Children's Ministry Training and I'm here to talk to you about a curriculum we've designed, Mantano Curriculum, to, sub to support children between the ages of 1 to 12 years old. As a parent, as well as a teacher of a children's ministry, I'm sure like me, you're looking for creative ways to help nurture the children's faith. That's why we have designed this curriculum. And one thing I have come to understand as a curriculum developer for over 14 years is the how this opportunity has given me the opportunity to truly learn about the faith development of, of children. <music> The most important thing I'm going to tell you right now is that I'm doing a parenting masterclass. Um, it's nurturing the leader within children. It's following from the Teach Me to Teach conference. I'm going to pour out my heart in this masterclass. I want to really make parents have the skills and the resources to nurture the heart of that because that's my heartbeats really that's what i work on on myself and i want us to work together on it how to nurture the leader within our children <music> Thank <laughs> you.
know what their struggles are, know who their friends are, know what they like, what they dislike, know what their heart desires are. That's what helps us to connect with our children. Remember, connection is so important. And so I look forward to seeing you at our Parenting with Angel Eyes Masterclass so that we can get to learn more. See you soon and God bless. Bye-bye.